Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. Yes, these are the Kingstonian Diaries, my diffuse challenge where I take a lower league side through the tears, bring them glory and Kingstonian have a chance. They are going to Sweden uh, to play in front of 52,000 people for the right to be crowned Europa Cup champions and standing in their way is going to be one, none other than uh, West Bromwich Albion. Well, this is a team that uh, also hails from the Premier League and they have been playing pretty okay in, this, in the league. Yeah? The, the, uh, the mid-table at the moment. Uh, they had a really tough fixture. Uh, they be, they're very defensive. Uh, we managed to beat them home and away this season. Our last win again was... Uh, we just had a... We just beat them at home in the league 1-0. Um, they were very defensive. It was not an easy match. Uh, but we managed to... We managed to get past them. Now, uh, as far as our aspirations are concerned we finished the league uh, in sixth spot 67 points um, arsenal managed to win that game but couldn't get themselves into champions league contention they uh they they needed to beat us by a bigger margin we didn't really help them very much uh, then now man city are going to be in the champions league champions league along with spurs chelsea united liverpool meanwhile well they'll have to go to in the English Championship and try and rebuild from there, which is pretty sad. And as our plan is really simple. Um, I've reached the end of the season and we've been playing with this one tactic all the way, this uh, my Kingstonian Samba system, which is actually from FM15. This is literally the same tactic from FM15, except for the fact that maybe I don't use complete wingbacks because in FM15, wingbacks rule the roost. And uh, this time around, I just, I'm just using uh, fullbacks and they're doing, uh, they've done very well. Uh, fullbacks are definitely uh, players that uh, are a lot defensively a lot more uh, dependable, for one of a let and for lack of a better word. Okay, um, what about our plans? Well, we have plans at the moment because we are looking at strengthening our side, and we've rejected several of offers. We wanted to sign a uh, Fraser Allen. But uh, his low determination convinced me that I'm not going to pay too much money for him. Then we've identified some of these other players, but the, the, the bids went up to 8.75 million. Ben Barron, also from Liverpool, we targeted him. Uh, we targeted Martin Horton, 5 million. And I, I refused to, he wanted to come in and become a key player. I just told him, uh, not, it's, that's not happening. Uh, I also looked at this player, also from Liverpool, Nene, Nene Njal. Um, it wouldn't have been bad as a def uh, defensive midfielder. Uh, his first touch is average. Concentration was the, s the sticking point here, right? So he's low concentration and I went, nah, we're going to forget about him. Adam Bowen, I went quite high, 20 million. And then I withdrew the offer. Because uh, while he has the, at the, the, the quality that, to play in this position, because he's got... Uh, decent attributes, right? His anticipation is really good. Uh, his positioning is excellent. Tackling is there. His marking is good. And, you know, this this boy can definitely play in the position uh, of a ball-winning midfielder because Liam Coyle, who's our number one choice, uh, he's, he literally plays the whole season and there's not enough cover for him. I mean, we have youngsters, but I still think Liam, that we want to get somebody uh, who is homegrown in England as well. But... He doesn't want to play as a rotation player. He wants to be a key player and would not accept any other offer. And I went, nah, forget it. I'm not going to give you give you key player status. But there's one player I'm willing to bust the bank for. And it's Sean Bonner. 23 years old, plays for West Ham, first team player, fantastic balance and agility. Literally means you cannot take the ball off him. The only thing that He's missing his decisions, but he's only 23 years old. That can improve over time. We can train him and he will uh, he will get better over time. However, now that uh, you know I'm doing the show and I'm looking at something that calls it is, uh, the attribute, uh, the player trait rather, dwells on ball. I dislike this for a, a player playing in the final third. This I don't like. Um, because uh, it, while his first touch and composure is pretty good, Right, his concentration. Uh, the, the the question mark is his decisions and his bravery. That combined with Dios on ball could be a problem. And if you're looking at his ratings over across the season, yeah, he's averaging 6.97 as well. And um, 
His past completion percentages are also very, very low, right? So I think that while everyone is telling me to sign Bonner, whatever the price, I'm like thinking to myself, mm, I was interested before the idea of the show. Now I'm doing the show. I actually, I want to thank all of you because I'm doing the show and I see this and I'm going to pull out this deal. 40 million would have been a big amount of money to spend on him. So we're pulling out of this deal. And then we've got this other year, uh, Jose Maria, Maria Camara, 17 years old. Uh, he's joining us for 1.2. We've got Eric Kuaku from Montpellier, who's joining us, a defender on the right. Uh, why have I signed these players? You might be wondering. Because they're first up, they're 17 years old, right? Scout reports indicate that, uh, well, I, my scout report is missing. I think I had, there was something that said he's got like 47 percent uh, scout recommendations so I signed him these are all players I'm hoping that can turn into something right so my, my our under 18s is pretty pretty we're filling the squad up with quite a lot of under 18s now um Nick Higgs 16 years old uh, some of these players have uh, if I'm not mistaken they are from the academy itself our newly built academy <laughs> we're turning in some players Nick Higgs I'm excited about Steve Wright uh he's 15 years old also from our academy so we've got some players that just popped in. Look at this. I'm excited about him. So the the thing here is they, they both come they both came in fairly professional. Pete Pete Laval, who's unambitious, okay, at this rate, he's gonna be a problem. So what I do is currently injured, cannot be tutored. A priority will have to be to tutor him. So all the really bad ones, like I don't like balance. I'd rather them be at least fairly determined because balance is like oh, not something that you I mean it's it's not fantastic so we're going to tutor him and then i want to at least get him tutored by somebody who's at least fairly determined so i'll ask swallow to do this uh and i'll take the second option uh i think there are better users of my time i think it'd be beneficial you should give it a try bloody hell swallow hmm that's not good swallow just walked away real annoying player sometimes okay then so i go through the rest of the player so uh, tutoring this player again looks all let's see whether he wants to work with Josh Wesh I think that this guy is he's annoying man looks all over what a never mind we shall not lose our temper we are going in for the Champions League final but Luke Swallow is quickly becoming a very important very annoying player and uh, yeah well, his PR he's not happy yep he's not happy so uh, can't be asked all right, so here we have players that I, I'm i very careful with uh, Evran Karadonis because he's got very high injury susceptibilities. One of the reasons why, I don't know if you guys have noticed, whenever he takes a knock, I take him off immediately. I mean, I plan to take him off. He's a very important player for us. And uh, his flair, his ability to round players, find the pass, and now his finishing has gone up to 14. His uh, composure has gone up. And he's, he's really looking like a very dangerous player in the box. So... Uh, I want to make sure that he doesn't get injured. Uh, the other players I'm worried about, there's one more player, uh, Liam Coyle. Now, Liam Coyle doesn't have an injury susceptibility problem, but he has another problem. It's called the pension for picking up cards. So he's already picked up 11 yellow cards this season, one red card, down to the fact that he dives into tackles with his high aggression. Um, but if we, you, you should try your best to get to know the player. So um, the he doesn't seem to have that um, dirtiness bent because it will show up here if he's dirty. So far, so good. He doesn't seem to have that problem. So Liam Cole continues to play. He is literally at the moment the most important player in my team. Luke Coyle is holding us. Sorry, Liam Coyle. Luke Coyle. Liam Coyle is holding us together, and. I am in the, he's already 27 years old, so the, the future is very important. We have to think about who's going to be playing. So in the off-season, I want to try and sign two players. I'm going to try and get another fullback because our fullbacks are not bad. It's the weak area of our team. Um, we also want to get cover because um, Jack Price probably won't be playing anymore. Well, I'm keeping it around because uh, he's, he's a fantastic tutor, he's professional. But he's now uh, tutoring Dmitry Gorbanov, so... I'm using him to tutor all the other players. And uh, we want to get ourselves uh, another uh, defensive midfielder or a Mazala, another Mazala. But I don't go out there looking for Mazalas, right? I don't go out there scout 
for a specific position for Mazala. This is what I do. In case you guys are wondering, it's a really, I mean, for me, it's simple. Okay, so I go to my shortlist first. Chances are, I've already got a few players in my shortlist. So I've got, um, no, I've got these players in my shortlist. And we'll edit the search. And uh, positioning is 13, 12. We've got some, okay, we don't have many players here. So we've got Kirian Monroe at the moment. Uh, his flare is 9. The moment I see flare, low value, he's not considered. So we, we are looking for a Mazala that can play with his left foot on the left flank. So um, players like this, jo Johan More, passing 16, flare 16, balance 15, decisions 12, not bad. But because of his low bravery, he won't be considered. So right now, the hunt is on for two players. Uh, at least the Mazala or a playmaker in the final third. Because uh, Mario is playing as a playmaker. So I need a player that can play in both positions like him. So we are we are now identifying players and we've got a short list of players that I'm 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 studying and we're gonna pick somebody from that list. Now there's a strong possibility that new players will emerge. So what I do is I come here, uh, this is the advanced tab. We got quick, which shows you this, then you remove this, uh, then we go to the midfield area, and then we go to advanced. And natural fitness is 11, acceleration 12, work rate, I want third positioning, we want him to be at least 12. Tackling, well, we want him to be at least uh, at least 12 as well. Okay, then we add another condition and, and immediately look at our mental flare. Now, if it's a Mazala, I will need at least like minimum 12 to 13 for, for me to even consider these players. Now, Eventually, they will need to be able to tackle. So far, we found uh, some. Both of these are defensive fullbacks. Off the ball is six to eight, so he's not going to be considered. This guy's off the ball is five to seven, which is really sad. Uh, so as you can see here, these are showing up as wingers. Uh, sometimes I go to the middle, and I do the same thing. Antoine Herbert. I've I've scouted this player before. Too low. Gilberto Fippi from Torino. Hmm. I always like Torino. But he's a right footer. I want a left footer. Patrici Pietro, right footer. Johan More is the only other player at the moment. And he his bravery is a bit low. So that's the thing that's holding me back. In my own squad, then I have to identify players who may be able to play in that position. And the only players that I have right now that that might be playing there are going to be players like uh, Daniel Brewster uh, and um, Hapner. So we've got Dries Brunil. His flair is only eight. He can be a he can be a player that plays there once in a while, but not good enough. Hapner, his flair is also very low. So this is the thing. Because Pontiso's injury made me realize as well, he's 30 years old. We've been using him, he's been playing really well, but there's nobody else that can play in that position. In the under-23s, uh, we have one player here, Zakaria Hamash. Flair is way too low. He can be a deep line playmaker, but that's about it. And then I've got nobody else here. <laughs> and then we go to the under-18s. Same problem with the under-18s. I don't really have a player who can play in that position. So all of them have... Uh, uh, they're too far away from being first-team choices. There is one player that's been standing out in his development. This is David Walker. So but once they turn 18, I'll start playing them in my first team. And we've given a run for given a run to one or two other players. All right, for, the, for this game that we're going to be playing... I think uh, I I think that we're going to try something different in the final. We got because the West Brom team they're very defensive and I always found them hard to beat. Even though we beaten them twice, it took a lot of effort. <laughs> so, um, we're going to try and take this game to them and hope that we can overload structure the living daylights out of them. <laughs> and the match is off. Dredge to chill well. I have to, actually, I should have gone to check all these players out. I, I'm not sure... I, because if you're playing with a 4 one one this guy is pretty dangerous. Um, if he's got really good acceleration and can control the ball, then we are, we could be in trouble. Higgins, come on. 
finds Brewster. Brewster does well. He gains his Mario and he misses the chance to parry. The, I mean, come on, guys. We're not going to get that, that many. Those, I mean, we're not going to get a lot of chances in this game. So please, please, please bury those that you get. That's why it's so high up the pitch. Evran Karadonis to Guinoche. Back to ring. Out. It goes to Carl Walker. Peters crossing it. It's Brewster. And misses the chance to score. Ring again. Now to Coyle. Coyle will look for Evran Karadonis. Karadonis plays a brilliant pass to Guinoche. Maguire under some pressure. Maidana now. Our weakness is going to be the right flank. Where Walker is operating. I mean, I'm going for, I'm going for some speed here. But we got Villavert on the bench but he's defensively minded Kyle Walker Peters is a bit more offensively minded so we need to get somebody in who can deliver the cross as well Kyle Walker Peters does brilliantly ring to coil coil to Evran Cardenis finds nah they try to release the pass but it was not a well executed one Maidana to Birch they come back to defend Maidana down the line to Dredge this guy's acceleration is superb Maidana because he beat 15 so he must be at least 16 or 17 and his off the ball must be good as well so let's see you now Dredge off the ball 15 acceleration 17 I was right Dredge Birch to Ramsala okay Swallow gets back and over the top for Brewster that was a very good idea and they played out to Dalton we're not going to come off oh kids Okay, that's good. Car Walker Peter stepped up. He panicked. So far, Car Walker Peter 6.8. Anybody who draws a 6.0 is going to be an issue. William Bissan already has a yellow card. That's good news. Mario to ring. Never mind. We do score goals from outside the box. So I will allow my boys to do that. I'm happy to see them do that, in fact. Rian Brewster. The only reason why you're playing is because of your acceleration. And you, you can score. Oh, hit steep. Crossbar and bounces back. 32 minutes. Mario into the box. Ring. Sets out. Coil shoots. Uh, this coil can score from outside the box. 6.6. .6. Maidana with the Palmer Brown. Ring. Rian Brewster. You know this. You know what you're here for. You're here to beat players. What a shot. We get a corner. Uh, he had to take the shot because he was already being closed down. Mario, Palmer Brown, Quell. And he goes wide, loses the ball. It's a foul. It's a yellow card for Dalton, please. Dalton, get a yellow card. No, referee doesn't give him one. Bisan is at the back. He's already got a yellow card because of Brewster's. Probably the back line is having to deal with Brewster. Maximilio, Maximiliano, Maidana. Has to compete with, yes, they got very, very, they under some pressure on that flank. The insertion of Ryan Brewster is giving them a headache. But Hakim Guinoche is at 6.5. That's a bit of a concern. Maidana, rather, I don't think any my, uh, that player has anything to do with it, but never mind. See, Maidana is on the right, so he's got the, the left flank. Yeah, Brewster is the one that's giving them a headache. Okay, Kingston and are playing well. Alright, we are playing well. I'm, I'm far from pleased with what I'm seeing. Okay, he gets to Palmer Brown to ring. Come on, boys. Out to Mario. Mario to Evran Karadonis. We definitely need another Mazala. Because of if whenever players like Pontiso, if Pontiso gets injured, the whole system has to change. Chilwell to Dredge. Dredge to Dalton. It's oh, safely into the hands of our keeper. Corner, Mario. A hey, Palmer Brown. Throw in, Rock. Red, Dredge. To Ralston, to Illich, to Birch, to Ramsala shoots. Thank you very much. Keep this going, boys. 52 minutes, 53. Come on. And I think about this team, West Brom. They have a 4 3 3 in the arsenal of tactics. Because when we played them, they went to a 4 3 3. Rian Brewster is away. Rian Brewster. Strike, what a save from the keeper. Into the box, it's ring, it's Palmer Brown. Why did I not play with Damien Phelan? Because he's been scoring a lot of goals, right? Uh, but Phelan is only 6.2. I mean, sorry, his acceleration is only 12. I see Rian Bruce's 6.2. That's why I think came to my mind. 
But now, um, we have Phelan on the bench. So, let's see whether... I mean, I I want to play with Ryan Brewster because he gives us options. Ring to... But the good thing about uh, Phelan is he likes to play one-twos as well. So, ring to Higgins. Higgins back. This is us overload. It's crazy. You can do all these kind of things. Oh, it's Ryan Brewster! <laughs> Ah, what a goal! Now, that was overload structure. Anybody tells you that overload structure is just wasteful possession, doesn't know anything about this game. Walker Peters, what a move. Higgins hits it and Brewster said, thank you very much, guys. I got a free goal. I, I, I don't believe it. I scored a Europa Cup final. Me! Yes, you have. Now, we wait. They will change their tactic. It's uh, Ramsala. It's Dredge. It's on to Ralston. Oh, this is looking like it's going to be an equaliser. It is an equaliser. It's 1-1. One, one. It won't count. Ha ha. It was, I didn't know they were offside. Okay, corner. Mario to take this. It's a coil. Coil. Lines up another shot. This guy can crack them, but he's not on target today. All right, Sanderberg. 18 minutes now. When are they going to go to their 4 3, three? I'm waiting for the 4 3 3 to come on. Line. Okay, uh, I keep hitting the pause button because the moment the 4 3 3 goes online, my fullbacks go to defend duties. And both of them, okay, that's it. I knew they were going to do it. It was just a matter of when are they going to do it. Defensive fullback, uh, defensive fullback. Okay, and then uh, Villiavert, you're coming for Kyle Walker. Peters, Hakim Gunosh, 6.9, you're doing okay. Uh, and now we'll leave Rian Brewster there. And we're still playing on overload structure. Seems like a psychotic thing to do, I know. Gunosh to Evran Karadenis. Finds Higgins. Higgins, oh my goodness, is Brewster! He's offside. I thought you scored another one. Okay, 88, 89. Kingstonian, who defeated quite a few teams last season playing overload structured, are now doing it again in the Europa Cup. Palmer Brown with the header. This is Guinoche, Brewster now. Looks for Higgins. It's Higgins. He's brought down inside the box. No, it's a corner kick. Hey, Palmer Brown glances the hitter wide. They have a long kick now. Down the line. It's... Who the hell is that? Ome. Okay. It's a great save from the keeper. Um, defend Palmer Brown. Ome again. Strikes it. Goes wild. I could be a very nasty person and just make these both AFs. Um, we're going to make one change. Hapner for Mario. And you are going to turn into a ball-winning midfielder on support. Ariola. We're buying time with that substitution. And Ariola. You know you have to kick the ball, but I don't mind if you want to take forever. And they win the ball. Ralston now. Over the top. It's ring to Palmer Brown. Out to Villavert. Villavert over the top. It goes to Higgins. Higgins inside the box. We get a throw in in their half of the pitch. West Brom 1. Sorry, West Brom 0. Kingstonian 1. Ring. They clear the danger. It's back with Coyle. It's over the top. Defender get to the ball. Everyone Cardenas is over the top again. Swallow reads the danger. Plays it back to Murich. Is this the moment? R Brewster puts pressure on Brun. Ariola again. It's red by it. Oh, okay. Higgins can't get to that. Bisan again. Swallow reads the danger. Vidal. It's going to be Everyone Cardenas. It's going to be Swallow. It's the boys from Kingstonian. They have done it. Against the odds. The boys have made it all the way to the final of the Europa Cup where the media were predicting 
West Brom's triumph, we have gone in there and upset the apple cart. Unbelievable. Okay, let's. The, this was the quarterfinal. West Brom beat Sevilla. Lazio beat Braga. Kingstonian beat Barcelona. Inter standard. And then it was a case of getting from the quarterfinals into the semi finals. Our, our route wasn't that bad because if you look through the um, first knockout round, Kingstonian were blessed. Belenenses, Real San Sebastian was a big game. Not as big as uh, Barcelona, though. This was our lucky day. I can't believe it. It's it's done. It's done and dusted. We have done it. You, West Brom had a goal disallowed. He could have turned the tide, actually. Uh, and uh, Callum Higgins, number two in the Europa Cup player this season. Josh Bowler, he played quite well. Actually, yeah, he played quite well. I mean, this is a... I'm looking for a Mazala. He's 28 years old, but he's going to be too expensive and he's too old. Well, we've done pretty well. Damien Phelan also had a very, very good uh, Europa Cup campaign and uh, he banged, you know, banged in quite a lot of goals to get us to the final. The boys have done it. Uh, so, Kingstonians, Liam Coyle, Mario in midfield, Bama Brown, Swallow, Phelan and Higgins. Not surprising that six of the players in the team of the season come from Kingstonian fantastic run for us we've done it and now the search begins for our Maza for another mazala for the for the squad and that means scouting in preseason and we've done so that brings us to an end for our latest season of football manager and uh, end of the season awards callum higgins set, took 73 percent of the vote winning that Goal of the season belonged to liam call and i can tell you there's no need to watch it it's a howitzer from the age of the box Signing of the season, Mario, of course, one he only cost us one million from Barcelona. Young player of the season, Callum Higgins. These boys have done it. Thirty-six goals were scored by Callum Higgins. Seven point five three pass pass completion. This guy is very underrated. Will Ring is a very good player, and uh, we had a uh, we had a fantastic time, and uh, I'm just so happy now. The, now the work begins in preseason where I look for my Mazala and also maybe another fullback. I don't know. But we've got a lot of players. I can't. Uh, some of these players won't be in our squad next season uh, in the senior team. And they'll be they'll be going. Pavel Boshnovich is on a free transfer. He wants first team. Parker's Bettinelli is going. Uh, there might be no space for Dries Brunel. He's okay, but he, mm, does, he's not good enough for us at this level. Uh, Jason Cummings, uh, at the age of 31, I think I'm going to release him, I'm going to transfer list him. Uh, so we got, there are going to be quite a number of players who are going to be going. Jason Cummings is on his way. Dries Brunel will probably be on his way. Robin Hubner, I'm not sure about him. He might be. Uh, then we've got um, other players. Um, that I, I might be able to get a good price on this guy, Damien Fielder, because of his exploits with 19 goals in 23 games value is 17.25 million he came to us we spent 2 million for him so i might transfer list him because that's the strategy of the 4312 you don't keep players you, you you develop them and you sell them so um jason cummings is probably gonna go and uh, i'm toying with the idea of selling damien Phelan. This guy, if he can get me good money, that will be very, very interesting because uh, transfer status, you can check. Nobody uh, is picking up on him yet. So I wonder whether I can get a you know good good value for him. Okay, so uh, before I go, um, certain things I want I thought I might share with you. We've done pretty well, but uh, what, what I wanted to share with you is this. If you go to preferences and you go to interface, you see screen flow. You can actually add other competitions that appear in your news feed. And these uh, will appear as a panel in your newsfeed. And we've got matches, fixtures, and results. So we get a full detail of this. You can actually, you know, drop down to a lot. You can see stats, you know, the, the, the works, you know. You, you, you can see from stages and everything else. But the only reason why I do this is so I know what's happening. Um, like England is not in the under-21 championships. They don't have a team there. It's, the, the Scots have a team there. The Irish have a team there. But England don't have one pretty sad but uh i use this information because i can actually then assign my scouts and i give them assignments so the scouts on assignment for the under 21s 
that they're looking for talents. So I keep giving them assignments and you can go to the match here uh, and you will see all this pop up like Holland under 21s versus Belgium under 21s. You can even attend the game yourself or scout the match. So we've sent people out to scout the games and they will come back with information. This is how I build up my shortlist. And my shortlist is, uh, I'm very happy with our shortlist because you can see a um, slot of players in the shortlist, pretty half decent. I mean, scout recommendations, I've got pretty high standards for my players. And they are a lot of players there. And we've already gone out there and we have a whole bunch of players coming in. Josh Timon from Nor uh, Watford is joining us on the left flank. Marcelo Hermes has been told to leave the club. He's gone to Brentford for 5.25. Jason Cummings is gone. Um, we've added some more players, but we haven't. We spent like 64 million this season. But a lot of them were like pinch hitters, right? Like youngsters like Zakaria Hamash. Um, the biggest signing with Josh Diamond, 13.5 million. And we have another player coming in who's going to be pretty expensive, 15 million. Uh, Vincent Galliard, the, a young Frenchman. We hope he can become a decent playmaker in the final third of our 4 3 1 2 system. So all the transfer signings have been done. And we are going to get ready for pre season. This means that we can start working, the whole team can start working on getting used to the 4 3 1 2. Uh, there's a bit of me that wants to get another striker, but this is a system that is uh, striker-friendly. So your strikers can score goals. You just need to um, work on sorting this group and these two positions out, and you should be fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kingston in Diaries. We have won the Europa Cup. Liverpool have been relegated. We are going to the Champions League. Liverpool are going to the Championship. And if you have any questions, please look us up on Twitter at Busternet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel and make these kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care, have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.